Tesla's Gigafactory east of Sparks is coming into focus. Those giving us a tour today say that the first phase of it is right on schedule. And to say it's big is an understatement. In fact, this model in the lobby gives you an idea of its size by scale. When it's completed, it'll be a three-quarter mile walk from one end of it to the other. The biggest lithium battery factory in the world. It's not just the biggest lithium-ion battery factory in the world, but it'll actually be bigger than the sum of all lithium-ion factories in the world. It's difficult to quite describe in words, but it's, it's, a, it's a heck of a big factory. Now, we're only allowed to show you a couple of the rooms within, but as you can imagine, it all starts with a sea of computers. From designers to purchasers and engineers to bookkeepers, they use an open office concept that allows for immediate pooling of information, and production is just right across the way. Their mission of efficiency with energy carries throughout the project. They began with one phase that has been producing battery cells since October. They'll continually expand, but they say that they're learning more efficiencies as they go and changing their plans accordingly. And here, they're concentrating on what they call energy products. And when they say energy products, they basically mean power packs that are about the size of a refrigerator and these power walls. In fact, they expect these to revolutionize home energy use. Officials say one power wall added to other renewable energy, like solar or wind, can actually cut you free from the grid. And check out the roof. In keeping with the mission, this will soon be covered with solar panels. The energy will power the plant, which uses no fossil fuels even now. Their aim is a zero carbon footprint. Meantime, in an unassuming strip mall along USA Parkway, a double suite has been turned into a Tesla service center. Company officials said that they couldn't speak to any openings in the Reno area at this time, but Story County confirms Tesla has filed the necessary permits for it and the fire inspections have been completed. Those on site would only tell us that it's a service center for Tesla owners. It works by appointment only and they come and pick up your car and return it to you rather than having customers on site. Covering the big story, Aaron Breen, Channel 2 News.